We're beginning to see a series of reports that a Ukrainian reconnaissance group has entered the Bryansk region, just over the northern border into Russia, as part of what appears to be a surprise attack. Russia's TASS news agency says law enforcement agencies are reporting a clash with Ukrainian saboteurs and says there are dead and wounded among the residents of the area. Russian news outlets report the Ukrainian group of around 50 members captured inhabitants in the village of Sushiny, with explosions and gunfire heard. RIA news agency says hostages are also being held in the village of Lubekin. An electricity substation and a gas station have been blown up in Sushiny, according to Baza. Muddy conditions created by the spring thaw could benefit Ukraine's defense against Russian troops around Bakhmut. The conditions, known as Bezdorizia in Ukraine, will limit the ability of heavy armored vehicles to advance through churned up ground, it said. Poor cross-country movement typically provides some military advantage to defending forces, the MOD said in its daily update. Soil temperatures during the day have risen and are now largely above freezing, with daytime fall likely until next week. Warmer-than-average conditions are also forecast for the rest of winter in Ukraine. It is almost certain that by late March, cross-country movement will be at its worst following the final thaw, the MOD says. This will add further friction to ground operations and hamper the off-road movement of heavier armored vehicles, especially over churned-up ground in the Bakhmut sector. Also Ukrainian forces have held off 170 attacks from Russian troops over the past day. In an update this morning, the ministry said there had been 14 rocket attacks on civilian areas and regions across the country in the last 24 hours. Russia has also carried out 21 airstrikes including two with combat drones and 58 salvo rocket strikes. Moscow's main efforts are concentrated on the Kupyan, Lyman, Bakhmut, Avdiv and Shakhtar directions.